Wish it was November 1st already. Um. <laughs> Binners who earn a living collecting bottles and cans in BC will have to wait a few more days, but they're looking forward to a pretty major raise. I had a whole load of pop cans today and made $14. That would have been 28 bucks. So that's, you know, that's going to be an awesome, awesome thing. They'll see a real increase in their funds. Uh, for us, it's really a wash. We're just going to be uh, giving out more money and uh, getting the same amount back. Smith says the deposit increase is great, but it would be even better if deposits were added to milk cartons, as they are in Alberta. United We Can gets a lot, and it's an added cost to recycle them. Return It, which runs the container recycling program in the province, says they hope the increase will keep more containers out of landfills. And that could just be the case when they're twice as valuable. I think anything that, they, that the government does to help recycling is a step in the right direction. I'm actually from Oregon and uh, that's what our return rate is. And uh, that was also recently bumped up. And that's just going to incentivize more people to take care of their own recycling and get a return on, on what they spend. We get a lot of homeless people collecting them. Definitely, you know, they're going to be ever more enthusiastic. Return it says the deposit increase will affect 80% of the drink containers in its system. And of course, if you're not someone who brings back your own containers, that'll mean next week those cans or bottles will cost you double at the cash register. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Vancouver.